Good morning, this is Dr. Lanier again, and today is the second day that we've cast this brother in bow ties, and we're trying to get everybody really get on board. I really need your help. This is something that could impact the whole world, and especially, especially for young men of color. We have to be able to show them that their efforts can be fruitful, and the way to do it is by first helping them define the goal. This is all about teaching entrepreneurial business and, and teaching in general how to accomplish something. And uh, you have to excuse me, I'm outside and I realize my neighbor is running there. It's uh, gardening day. So I'm gonna try to make this quick, but first you have to have a goal. And right now, I know it doesn't make sense. Say, well, why are you talking about elections? Because this is the most impactful thing that we could do right now if I can help young men of color show how that they could be successful in turning this whole nation, this, um, this election around. So this date, this November 4th date, this is a big, big day. This November 4th, please, everybody, you have to be able, what I would like for you to do on November 4th, you have to have already worked your plan. You have a plan. Plan your work, work your plan. So what I'd like for you to do, and excuse me here, making a real mess. So your plan is this. Each person wants to, I would love it if you could contact like 10 people. And, and you have those in your list. And we talked about those six degrees of separation. So if, um, if there's six degrees of separation, you can just imagine how much it would be if you were to reach out and touch these and got these to touch somebody else and they're touching 10 and so forth. This thing becomes astronomical and it just rolls out and roll out. So what we want to do is using Facebook is, is one of the bigger ones, social media, and then YouTube. Oh, of course, you have to have these videos. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting these on YouTube. And a lot of people tweet, so Twitter. Instagram, I never use it, but I know that you guys use it. Use all of this, all of the social media to reach out and just remind people that you want to get 10 people to the polls on November 4th. Everything that you do, if it's business, if it's in life, you're trying to achieve things, set a deadline. This thing has a deadline. Now the way that you do it, first you gotta get people's attention. So that's the thing, and I, I, I went over this the last time, about the bow ties. The bow ties is just to get attention. So uh, what you want, you wanna get their attention. And now that you have their attention, let's give them a message. So you got their attention, you have to have the message, and you have to know what the message is. And you can, what the real message is, is that you would like to get 10 people to the polls on November 4th. But in order to get them to go to the polls, you have to sometimes give people some kind of a pretext and, and tell them why they need to go. You know, the thing that, I was just reading this book, a friend of mine was telling me, Harriet Tugman, if you could see on this uh, cover, she's holding a pistol. And one of the things that it tells about in the book is that it doesn't tell of her having to pull the pistol on anybody white. She had to pull it on her friends and family because sometimes they would want to go back. They, they didn't really understand that you can't go back. You got to move forward on these things. So that's what we got to do. Your message is, and I think it would behoove everybody, go back to read the, the, um, the Civil Rights Act. of uh, 64, 1964, and then the voting right. See, and that's what it's all about. Voting rights, 1965. And that's what's gotten me all fired up, really, is that I remember my parents going through this thing, you know, and all about uh, voting. It's, and people dying throughout the country trying to be able to vote. And now they've suppressed the vote, suppressed the vote, 
And not only that, come midterm, most people don't get out and vote anyway. It's not a presidential election, but we want to change that. And this is the way we have an impact. And from there, we're going to start teaching other things, entrepreneurial things to help these kids so that they can move on. I want to be able to earn enough money to pay their way through college because I don't know whether the country is going to provide the money to even help with grants and, and tuition and so forth. So I can help on that. But the first thing to do is do this. You help me, I'll help them. So we help each other. But the, in order to talk about these things, Civil Rights Act and Voting Rights Act, you need to Google them. You need to know about it so that you can tell people. So just go and look it up, you know, Google it, read about it, read about the Civil Rights Act, read, read about those, uh, the Freedom Riders. Freedom Riders, that's what it was called, and a lot of them died on those Freedom Rides because they didn't want you to have the freedom. Freedom comes through voting. And if you vote, you have the freedom. So listen, get the people to the polls for November 4th. That's all you gotta do. Wear the bow ties to get their attention. Know the message by going to Google, reading about it, and then call your friends in this network and get them on social media. And tell them about it, take pictures, dress up every Tuesday. Dress your son, dress your brother, dress your husband. Dress up and do it. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs>